Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. So in the previous video I discussed about how, when and where we can watch the Perseid Meteor Shower that is going to peak in the next 2-3 days. So in this video today I am going to discuss in detail that how we can photograph this Perseid Meteor Shower with the help of our smartphone. So please watch the whole video and don't skip any point so that all your doubts will get cleared up. But before beginning with the video, if you have not watched the previous video regarding Perseid Meteor Shower, then I have given the link to watch that video in the description as well as in the i button over here from where you can watch it. Do watch that video so that you will be able to observe the Perseid Meteor Shower very easily. Okay, so let's begin our today's video. So first thing is that we need to clear some basics and we need to know that what things are required for photographing the Perseid meteor shower or any meteor shower with the help of smartphone. So you might be aware about the pro mode that is in our phone's camera. Okay, nowadays every smartphone, almost every smartphone has this pro mode. So we are going to use that pro mode for photographing the night sky or capturing any image of the night sky. Let's say for any constellation, any star or any other thing in the night sky. Okay, so we need to use the pro mode. Second thing is that you need a tripod for this because uh, sometimes what happens when uh, we try because uh, we will be taking long exposure images. So what will happen is that uh, for example if we have set the shutter speed to be 10 seconds or 15 seconds then the shutter will remain open for that time and if in that time the phone is moved from its place or if we are uh, kept the phone at a steady place or on an object and from that position if the phone is moved then the image might get blurry and we will not get a clear image. So second thing is this, we need a tripod or any stable setup you can arrange on your own so that your phone will be steady for some time. Second thing is tripod. Third thing is this, we need to capture multiple images. Okay, so for multiple images, there is a time burst mode. Uh, nowadays, the companies, I mean the smartphone companies that are offering this time burst mode inbuilt in the phone are Poco then Xiaomi and I guess Realme is also offering this time burst mode. So for capturing multiple images because meteor shower is not a uh, point or you can say it is not a game of only single image. We need to capture multiple images repeatedly because we don't know when a meteor will strike in the sky. So it is totally based on luck. Okay, once again I am repeating it is totally based on luck that how many meteors are seen according to the sky conditions and how many meteors are seen uh, that we, we can photograph it if our phone is kept in that direction. Okay, so, so third thing is that we need to capture multiple images. For that you can use the time burst mode as I said inbuilt uh, in Xiaomi, uh, Realme and Poco phones it is available. If time burst mode is not there then you can either use the intervalometer application. The intervalometer uh, application works same as the time burst mode. Okay, it will allow you to set the number of frames that you want to capture and uh, the interval between the frames okay so once you have clicked on the shutter button of your phone's camera then you don't need to press it again and again for capturing multiple images it will not stop until the last image has reached the same case is happening with the time burst mode we have to select the number of frames and we have to keep uh, also set the interval between two frames that is without exposure so this is regarding the multiple frames and fourth important thing is that we need to be aware about the sky conditions Okay, so as I said earlier that please watch the earlier video of Perseid Meteor Shower because in that I have discussed everything in detail that how we have to find out dark sky, how we have to arrange ourselves regarding the, uh, are you, how we have to get aware about the dark sky around our surrounding or how we can find it. Okay, so this is regarding the basic points. So now let's proceed with the photographing part. Okay, so for photographing the Perseid Meteor Shower with the smartphone, First, we need to know the sky conditions. Let's say if you are in a bottle 3 sky area or bottle 5 sky area. So depending upon that, we need to set our phone settings. See, knowing the bottle scale is very important because depending upon the light pollution, we need to arrange our phone settings in such a way that we can get a better image. If you are under dark skies, let's say bottle 2, bottle 3 or even bottle 1, then you need to increase your phone's pro mode setting so that we can get a bright image. But if you are in a light polluted area, let's say bottle 5, bottle 6, okay, then we need to keep the lower settings so that we will not get a complete bright image. We will get a good image depending upon our phone's features and the light pollution, okay. 
so if you are under dark size let's say bottle 3 or bottle 2 then you can keep this settings or you can use this range of settings the shutter speed can be range in uh, let's say from 15 seconds to up to 30 seconds but i will not say please keep it at 30 seconds because at 30 seconds trailing will be there so if you are capturing any raw image then it is okay but for jpg images trailing will be there a little bit trailing will be there it it may not be uh, visible in the image but when you will zoom it then you will get to know that yes stars are having with trails so i will not suggest to keep 30 seconds you can start from 50 seconds and go up to 25 seconds that is for dark skies that is shutter speed for iso you can keep the iso from uh, in the range of 1600 to 3200 or above that if you feel that the image is dark okay one second i'm repeating for dark sky shutter speed should be from 15 to 25 seconds and iso should be around 1600 to 3200 or even above that for light polluted skies let's say bottle 4 bottle 5 then you can use the shutter speed from 10 seconds to 15 seconds and uh, you can use the iso from 800 to 1600 or even beyond that if the sky is completely clear see sometimes what happens that clouds are there in the sky but uh, after some time clouds get away and the sky gets crystal clear or sometimes what happens that rain occurs and the uh, all the dust that is uh, along with the clouds gets clear from the sky so in that duration you get to know you have to use your wisdom that yes the sky is completely clear if i can increase the shutter speed i will get a better image so you can increase the shutter speed from 15 to about 20 also in light polar that is bottle 4 and bottle 5 okay i have done that so i know so this is regarding the settings once again i'm repeating for da, uh, light polar skies iso in bottle 4 or bottle 5 can range from about 800 to 1600 and shutter speed can be from 10 to 15 seconds or even up to 20 seconds for uh, bottle scale let's say bottle 6 or bottle 7 you have to further decrease the settings let's say but there is very less chance to see meteors from bottle uh, 6 and 7 you can still look but you need to go on height area okay so that is the thing for bottle 6 and bottle 7 for bottle 6 and bottle 7 you can use the shutter speed from 6 seconds to 10 or 13 seconds and the iso can be in the range of 400 to 1000 or uh, let's say 1200 okay so that was for bottle 6 and bottle 7 skies now regarding the direction so every meteor shower that occurs uh, in any particular month has a particular origin in the sky that lies in a specific constellation that is you might be able to see the meteors anywhere in the sky but there is a fixed point from where all the meteors will originate the or radiant that is uh, that origin is called radiant in terms of astronomy so the radiant of this Perseus, uh, Perseus meteor shower lies in the Perseus constellation so we need to first find out Perseus constellation so uh, for that you have to use any stargazing application on screen i have shown some of them you can use any of them all of them are available in the play store okay so what you have to do is you have to open the stargazing application first find out locations from settings and set your location once you have done it come back to the original screen of the application and find perseus constellation if you are using it in the daytime just uh, find perseus constellation from the search bar and you can also move forward in time you, you can see here on the screen i have shown a screen recording okay so you have to move forward in time and you have to get to know that yes in northeast direction perseus constellation rises after midnight so you have to keep your phone in that direction now that um, the main task is that how we have to arrange our phone so that is the uh, important task for that you need to practice in daytime okay just uh, go out on your terrace or at uh, some open space and find out in which direction is north or northeast okay because in that direction only Perseus constellation will rise and that is the radiant point of this Perseid meteor shower so if we arrange our phone in that direction we will get maximum number of images of the meteors okay i have captured uranus meteor shower and the northern torrid meteor shower likewise by following this rule so i will show those images at the end okay but let's complete this part so you have to arrange your phone in northeast direction okay so once you have done it you have to start clicking multiple images as per the uh, light pollution as i mentioned the settings in the earlier part okay so you have to wait until the radiant is high in the sky let's say you start after uh, 1 am okay in the morning so you have to keep your phone in northeast direction and you need 
to uh, change your phone's uh, uh, alignation uh, with respect to the time because the constellation will not be steady in at one position okay with time it will rise high up in the sky so as it rises we have to change our phone's uh, uh, alignation also if you are, you are using any tripod or if you have kept at any steady place okay so first thing is that you need to take some trial shots once you are done with that yes uh, i have taken some trial shots and yes this uh, constellation is coming in my frame then you have to lock that position of your phone either on tripod or at that place when you have kept it and then we have to start taking multiple images then you can simultaneously observe okay and get set about uh, for this meteor shower so this is how you have to photograph it once again i'm repeating you have to keep your phone in the northeast direction because the perceived meteor shower will rise in the that is the radiant of this meteor shower will rise in the northeast direction that is perseus constellation as i said earlier you have to use any star gazing application to find out the radiant that is perseus constellation and once it is done you have to keep your phone in that direction such that the rear camera of your phone faces towards northeast sky and with time you have to change your phone's alignation as the radiant will rise as compared to the i mean with respect to the time okay so this was for photographing it and here are those images of orenard's meteor shower and the northern tortoise meteor shower that i photographed last year in the month of october and november so you can see that it is uh, possible to photograph meteor shower with the help of smartphone if you work with proper settings and proper uh, guideline so friends this was regarding photographing the perceived meteor shower okay but uh, one more point is also left that is how many images we need to take so see there is no limit you can take as many images as you can because you never know when a meteor will strike and it will get captured in your frame i actually kept uh, about uh, for a one hour because the zhr of orenards and northern torrids was less it was 10 to 15 meteors per hour but in case of perseids it is very high about 80 to 100 so you can get many meteors either in one image or in let's say 15 20 images okay so it is good that uh, you capture as many images as you can so that you will get maximum number of meteors okay so this was regarding photographing of what's it meteor shower with the help of smartphone if you still have any doubt then contact me in my instagram my instagram id is shown here as well as in the description or you can comment in the comment section below please like and share this video and subscribe to the channel for more such updates thank you for watching